Okay, welcome to this talk about practical algorithm substitution attack on public encryption for Asia Crypto 2020. I'm Rong Mao Chen, and this is a joint work with Xin Yi Huang and Moti Yan. Part of this work was done while I was visiting Kosik in KU Leuven. Modern cryptography has been a tremendous success, partially due to the proven security technique. No less the robustness of proven security closely relies on implicit and common assumption, which says that the implemented cryptography algorithms in reality should behave in a way specified by the specifications. Unfortunately, in the real world, such an assumption may turn out to be invalid due to a variety of reasons such as software or hardware bugs, and even malicious tampering attacks. In particular, attackers such as manufacturers and supply chain intermediaries may be able to modify the algorithm implementation to leak private information uh, steadily from the crypto systems. In fact, such kind of threat was identified as cryptography by Yong Eng Yang over 20 years ago. While some cryptographers seem to have to dismiss this attack as far-fetched at that time, there's not a revelation of actual deployments of such attack, attacks in 2013, so Yong Eng Yang's idea was really prescient and since then it has re attracted renewed attention of the research community. In crypto 2014, Barry, Patterson and Rogaway formalized a new notion called algorithm substitution attack, which was defined broadly against symmetric encryption. In this attack model, the encryption algorithm is replaced by an altered version, which is embedded with a backdoor key created by the adversary. Here we, here we use red to highlight the subverted algorithm. Such a substitution is said to be undetectable if the detector who knows the secret key cannot distinguish the legitimate algorithm from the severity algorithm in a black box testing. And the goal of the attacker is to gain the ability to recover the secret key from sequential cyber test produced by the severity algorithm with the help of the backdoor key. Here is a concrete substitution attack against a symmetric encryption algorithm. The subtle encryption algorithm takes as input the secret key, the message, and some associated data, and also the backdoor key. The subtle algorithm also maintains a global counter to indicate it which bit of the secret key is trying to leak in each round. And the procedure of the subtle encryption is almost the same as the legitimate one, except that it will repeat sampling the randomness until resulting cyber tests represent the secret key bit under the random function. Note that such a difference is undetectable to the legitimate users who has only a black box access. To recover the secret key bit by bit, the attacker could use the backdoor key to execute the random function by taking as input a couple of subtle cyber tests. There have been several foreign work about substitution attack with different settings and against different primitives. Specifically, a general result by Bent and this quick this key which shows that there exist universal substitution attacks which can work with no knowledge on the internal implementation of the cryptography primitive and are applicable to any randomized algorithms with sufficiently large bin entropy. So they also gave a logarithmic upbound, which says that no universal and consistent substitution attack is able to embed more than log k bits of information into a single self test. Here k denotes the bit length of the secret key involved in the encryption algorithm or the signing algorithm, and the goal of the attack is to recover the secret key from the subverted uh, in algorithms. In this work, we turn to another fundamental cryptography primitives, that public encryption, with the goal of better understanding the impact of substitution attacks on public encryption algorithm. Note that a major difference from symmetric key primitives such as symmetric key encryption and digital signature. Public encryption algorithms does not involve the secret key. And thus the best possible goal for substitution attacks on public key encryption algorithm is to recover the plain test. For, for legitimate users, this seems somewhat positive as different from the fixed secret key, the plain test is usually much longer and fresh 
across various encryption sessions. NSAS's the adversary needs to collect much more cyber tests to recover the whole plan test successfully. Therefore, the current uh, bit by bit substitution attacks, while applicable to public key encryption algorithms, are quite inefficient. And this observation and the importance of better understanding of the impacts of substitution attack motivates us to ask the following concrete question. Do there exist efficient and robust substitution attacks on public encryption algorithm? A safe attack is more robust if its internal state depends on such a small history. This is because for um, cryptography algorithms, some limited dependence on the past, such as the state of uh, pseudorandom generators, is natural. While long history dependence is not that typical, and creates more complicated state management. Not that like previous universal substitution attack need to maintain a global state to indicate it which bit of a uh, secret key to leak in each run, and such a state will persist for a much longer time if the attack goal is to leak the plan test. Right. So in this work, we provide an affirmative answer to these questions by proposing a uh, practical substitution attack that is generically applicable to a wide range of public key encryption schemes, demonstrating that a substitution attack on public key encryption could be much more dangerous than previously thought. Um, our idea is initially inspired by the observation that almost all primary public key encryption construction adopt the hybrid encryption. That's a public key crypto system, which is also known as the key encapsulation mechanism for or CAM for short, is used to encapsulate the so-called session key, which is subsequently used to encrypt the plan test by a symmetric encryption algorithm, which is known as the data encapsulation mechanism or DAM for short. So for such kind of hybrid encryption, the session key is usually much shorter than the plan test. So therefore, we tend to consider the possibility of substituting the underlying claim of public key encryption algorithm so that the attacker is able to recover the session key to break the dam and thereafter recover the plan test. Okay. However, this does not immediately gain much efficiencies improvement in subverting public key encryption, as the CAM still produces fresh session keys in between very various encryption invocations. Hence, we take a step further by considering the feasibility of more efficient substitution attack that could successfully recover a session key from a constant number of subverted cyber tests. To the end, we formalize an asymmetric attack model for CAMs and identify a general structural, uh, structural weakness in existing CAM constructions that enable us to mount a much more efficient substitution attack on CAMs. In our attack, the attacker could recover a session key from only two successful uh, two cyber tests, and thus the state required by the attack is much more smaller than the previous universal attack. We also gave several extentations of subtables camps, and below I will further elaborate on our results. Let's first recall the simplifying test of CAM. Informally, a CAM is defined by a type of algorithms. The key generation algorithm gen here generates the public secret key pair, and the encapsulation algorithms takes as input public key and output a session key k with the key step test ck. And the decapsulation algorithms will use the secret key to decrypt the ses uh, key step test ck for the session key k. So our asymmetric attack model for CAM is defined by the following three algorithms. The attacker runs the subversion key generation algorithm, which will output the subversion key pair. And the public subversion key P, uh, PSK is hardwired in the subverted algorithm, while the secret subversion key 
SSK is held by the attack. This asymmetric setting is different from previous symmetric attack model where only a backdoor key is used by the attacker. Okay, and the surfactant encapsulation algorithm takes as input the public key as well as the embedded public subversion key and outputs the key with the surfactant key subtest. And for stateful attack, this algorithm will also maintain some internal state which is updated in each realm. And the key recover algorithms take as input the public key and the secret subversion key and the subvertic key subtest CK and an associate subtest set, set C and outputs the session key K. This algorithm is run by the attack to recover the session key. Our asymmetric attack model mainly dif differed from previous symmetric attack model in that the session key recovery requires the secret subversion key that is different from the embedded public subversion key. Okay, and thus the attacking ability in our attack is exclusive to the attacker, which means that even uh, Users omitting the public subversion key by reverse engineering the subverted device, he is still not able to attack other subverted systems. Right? Um, so, in our model, we formalize three properties for substitution attacks on CAM. First, the subverted subtest should be still decryptable to the legitimate user who has the secret key but not the secret subversion key. The session key recovery ability caps the ability of the attacker to recover the session key from the subtlety subtest. Note that here the recovery algorithms may need to take as input some associate data or associate subtest. Since due to information theoretic reasons, it might be impossible for the attacker to recover the session key, the whole session key given the subtlety subtest only. And the last notion called undetectability denotes the inability of ordinary users to distinguish the subtlety encapsulation algorithm from the legitimate one in the black box testing. As we will show later, this property significantly restrict the manners for the attack to subtlety the algorithm. One may also note that the notion of decrypt decryptability could be viewed as the base form of undetectability. As if the subtlety subtest could not be correctly decrypted, the user will trivially note that the algorithm is subtlety. Right? Um, let's move on to our proposed attack. Here we only take the case of simplified CAM as an example. Given the logarithmic upper bound of universal substitution attacks, we tend to consider non black box attacks on CAM for better efficiency. Let us look into the procedure of encapsulation algorithm, which could be viewed as composed of a randomized component and a deterministic component. The randomized part, which is generally known as a student random generator, will produce the randomness, which is fed into the deterministic component that also takes as input the public key and output the session key with the key subtest. Um, we found that many popular camp construction in fact produce several tests which only depend on uh, internal random coins while it's independent of the public key. As a result, such kind of key server tests are universally decryptable with any valid secret key. Um, precisely, for fixed randomness, the key server tests will be always the same regardless of the public key use. However, if we use different secret key to decrypt a key server test, we will have different session key. Below, I'm going to give a simple example for an easy understanding. This is a very simple cam from L gamma encryption scheme. The randomness space is JP star, while both the key space and the cyber test space are the group G. Okay, as we know, the key server test of L gamma is the group element that depends on the freshly generated randomness R only um, for different public keys. Here we use H1, H2, and H3, and the corresponding secret key is alpha1, alpha2, and alpha3. The session key will be different 
which is decryptable using the corresponding secret key. So in the following, we will show how such structural property enables a very efficient substitution attacks on CAMs. Let, let, let's consider the life circle of a public key encryption algorithm. In an ongoing encryption system, the underlying key encapsulation algorithm will be run repeatedly to produce fresh, fresh session keys. Right? Let the random coin generated in different sessions should be independent from each other. Um, our core attack idea is to modify the randomness generation inside the encapsulation algorithm. The attacker runs the legitimate key generation algorithm for the subversion key pair and do the following. Let's begin with the first subverted randomness R2 here. In the subverted algorithm, instead of running the randomness generator, the random coin R2 here is derived by hashing the output of the de deterministic component de, de, de encapsulated. That takes as input the public subversion key and the previous uh, randomness R1. Note that the hash function key k is fixed as part of the embedded subversion key by the adversary. And due to the universal decryptability of CAM, the attacker is able to recompute R2 by running the cap to decrypt the key subtest C1 using the secret subversion key. Right? So and finally the, the session key k2 could be recovered from previous subtest C1 by the attacker who knows the cor corresponding uh, secret subversion key SSK. So in this way, our attack enables the attacker to recover the session key of a server test subtest with the help of the previous subtest. And our attack only requires a small state of previous session random coin. So all these together indicate that our attack is very efficient and robust. Below, I will briefly show that the attack is undetectable. In the detect in the detection game, depending on the flip uh, single coin, the detector is provided with the access to either the legitimate encapsulation oracle or the subtle one. And his goal is to guess the coin by making uh, queries to the oracle in a black box manner. Okay. Um, suppose that the detector makes Q uh, queries in total to the encapsulation oracle in the detection game. And we modify the subtle oracle in game zero step by step and await a game sequence. In the first modified game, the generation of randomness R2 is slightly modified in that the intermediate value T1 is randomly picked from the key space. And due to the security of CAM, it's easy to see that this game is in indistinguishable from game zero from the view of the detector. Okay. Um, in the following game, we straightforwardly pick R2 from the randomly space instead of computing the hash function. We saw that if the underlying hash function is entropy smoothing hashing, such a modification is also indi indistinguishable from the de detector. So note that in this game, the server T oracle actually is the same as the legitimate one in generating the response to the second query by the detector, right? Um, so we modify all the foreign queries in the subtle oracle in the same way. Um, finally, we will have the game, while the subtle oracle will be exactly the legitimate one, and thus in this game, the encapsulation oracle behaves Honestly, regardless of the free coin, right? That the detection advantage of the detector in this game is negligible. Thus, we come to the conclusion that the detector cannot distinguish the legitimate algorithm from the subtle one. So our attack indeed covers a wide range of uh, camps, including the generic construction from hash pool system and concrete camps derived from uh, popular public key encryption schemes such as the Kramer Soup scheme, the Kurosawa Death Method scheme, and the Whole Hand Killed scheme. 
um, I would like to uh, remark that there are some constructions that are not suitable to our attack as they do not solve our identified structural, uh, structural weakness and we provide more details about uh, these constructions in our full paper. Okay, so this is the conclusion of my talk. Our work shows that substitution attacks on public key encryption algorithms are far more effective and dangerous than previously believed. It's worth noting that our attack could be viewed as a general extension of Yong and Yang's cryptography attacks in the substitution attack model. Also, our approaches might share some light on identifying non-black box structural weakness of other composed cryptography primitives that make them sub subvertible to a more dangerous attacks that surpasses the logarithm upbound of universal attacks. Our work might also increase the awareness of a uh, research community, community in designing new security key encapsulation mechanisms against substitution attacks. Um, okay, that's all. Thank you.